everyone, I'm Bonnie Krebs and welcome to Watercolor the Art Impressions Way. So today I'm going to show you how to stamp this little um, little window and shutter set. Uh, this is one of my favorites. This is one of our newest projects and I think you're just going to love this. So in addition to this set, uh, if you look at it, it comes with the window and the window box and it comes with a new a little flower and a vine. But in addition to that, we still need to go back to the uh, flower and foliage sets, the basic foliage set, basic flower set, and we're going to use some of these stamps as well. So I'm going to use uh, the large vine, the small grass, the filler flower, and this long stem. So I've got those out right here. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is uh, ink the basic image. That's always the starting point. So I'm going to ink it with the number 86 African Violet because I want the window to be white. And the blue is what we use for everything that's going to stay white, white or shiny, because the blue is the shadow color. So if we just left things white without any color, they would look flat. And so that's what we're trying to avoid. So I'm going to stamp this little window on my watercolor paper, dip my brush in water, and I'm going to start by pulling the color out of the lines. Just drag your brush along all these little lines and just pull this color out. Just follow it all the way around down here. You don't have to do this perfectly, but this is going to give us that watercolor look, that three dimension. Drag it out across the top. And because the window is actually on a building, so the window is not just hanging in the air, we want to make sure that we get this color on the outside too. We have to be able to see the, the wall behind it. So we really want to drag this color to the outside. And you can see how this is really starting to change this image. Pulling all this color out. There's a lot of color in these lines. That's what makes these stamps really special is that they're, they're created for this technique and that the lines are the right width. They're not too long or too thick so that there's too much color, but they're thick enough that we get enough color. Okay, that looks pretty good. So now we're gonna start by filling in the little window box. So let's start with the flowers this time. So I'm going to uh, just start with the little filler flower. This is the daisy. And I'm going to ink this. And I want to walk it in a circle. One, two, three, four, five. It's really important to get that repeat. One, two, three, four, five. Ink just a few and we can get a smaller bloom over the side. And maybe up here. And then we can change the color. So let's change the color and add a different one. But we want to continue to walk that in a circle. Let's add some over this side too. Flowers hang over the window box too. Okay, so we're finished with that. So let's add the water and just blend. And you're just touching all these little images. So easy to do. And you can see the dark starting to come forward and the light starting to fade back. That's why it's so important to stamp those in a circle over and over again. Because we have to be able to see that dark in the foreground and the light in the background. And you can see I haven't even cleaned my brush. It's not necessary to clean your brush uh, in between unless you're going from a really dark color to a really light color. So I'm just going from the blue to the purple. So I'm I'm fine with that. Blend and blend this all together. Okay, so I've left some white area in here so that we can add some uh, something green. So I'm just going to use the little tiny grass. I'm going to ink that and I want to stamp it again multiple times. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then just pull this color up. 
this is that this is the only time you really use a brush stroke is when you're doing the grass and you want to drag that color up okay so let's go to the vine now maybe we want to grow some of the foliage up and around the window so let's ink this one and I'm just going to ink part of it because I don't need that whole the whole image one two three four five one, two, three, four, five. Let's add a little bit down underneath. One, two, three, four, five. And now we just add the water and soften the lines. This is so relaxing to do. It's just, it's really stress-free watercolor. This is for people who would say, I'm not an artist. Because, you know, an artist can just paint this themselves. They don't need to use stamps. But for somebody who doesn't normally paint or has no idea how to start or is very intimidated by a white sheet of watercolor paper, this is the best way. It's the easiest, simplest way to be a watercolorist. And honestly, nobody would ever be able to tell. They would think that you just painted this yourself. Put it in a little frame. Makes a perfect gift. We can add a little detail here just by dragging this up. That brush. Now we can see the little shutters on the window. So let's add some flowers now to this. And I'm, gonna, I'm going to use uh, this long stem from the flower set. This one is really cute because it also hangs. So we can use it upside down like this. So let's do that. Let's just ink a few of these and hang it down. Maybe we wanna hang a few here and a few here. And then we just add, add the water. And you're just touching the little lines. So wherever you see the little tiny lines, that's where your brush goes. We want the idea of the flowers, so we, we want the integrity of the flowers, but we just, we don't want all the harsh lines. But we still want the basic shape. And just dab and just blend. This is so easy. And now let's add the, uh, this little flower comes with it so we want to be sure and use this let's ink these blooms and the vine and again in a repeat so one two three four five and our little whoops little window window little window is starting to fill up Just add water, just like this. We can add a little detail here as well. You could drag some of this color out to the back to kind of show a little shadow, especially under here. You could add a few little flowers in here. Maybe from this one again, this is the little filler. We could just ink a few. And just put a few little flowers in here. We've got a beautiful bright window box. Be sure to sign. This is your own creation. So you want to be sure to get your signature on there.